Hello friends, welcome to this module. In this module, we'll be learning about log 4j, why we should learn 4j and why it is important when we are learning Selenium and building framework for it. We know the public uh, system.out.println. What is does it? It prints any information, okay, whether it's string, integer, whatever we want to, okay. Now the problem with system dot out dot print ln is when you are doing the automation, you are generating the scripts. Okay, you want to do what at specific time your script is doing. So what system out dot print ln will do? It will print it. Okay, and in your console it will be printed. Okay, but uh, suppose your execution goes for one hour and your console will be a very long plus it is not saved okay so the problem is that if you want to refer it at a later stage then how you can see the logs there is no way so to solve this problem the log 4j came into a uh, picture okay now let's see how we can implement it let's create a java project and learning log 4j okay I will create a package under it and class will be testing log 4j okay for this also first I need to download the jar files for log 4j okay and go to Google and type download log 4j the first link which is open click on it and it will log to the log 4j it is by the Apache okay just click on this okay and click on this the uh, jar file will start downloading I have already downloaded it me and it is located under the location yeah, under the jars and log yeah under log 4j so this will be installed in your system you just unzip it and this folder will be there and under this you will find this jar file okay so let's include this under your project go to properties click on projects uh, sorry click on libraries click on add external jars and go to the location that is log 4j unzipped file and they will find this log okay also let me include my selenium jar files okay and the jars only selenium yeah the latest version and and click on okay okay so now selenium and log 4j files sorry this is not this the reference libraries the log 4j and the selenium libraries are linked to my project now let's me create one test ng okay write public void test logs okay and in i will include test ng library and also the test ng annotations let first open a Firefox. I will write web driver, driver, driver is equals to new Firefox. Sorry, Firefox driver. Yeah, and I will write driver dot get my keyboard. Sorry, guys, driver dot get. HTTP Google dot com. Okay, uh, let's save this and execute this first to check if it's running fine or not. Okay, the test ng test is running. Yeah, 
the Firefox launches and it's navigating yeah it's navigating to Google okay that's perfectly fine okay now suppose if I want to use the log 4g here so first of all need you need to add one file okay I have this file with me I'll be sharing you with this also and yeah, under this location that is under the source you need to paste this file that is log 4j properties just note one thing guys don't save this file under your project not but under your source project okay source path if you paste it here you won't be able to read it and there will be some issues okay now let's see what is in this file is this file tells that the logs which are being generated what the location of that log would be that is under D I want to save at logs okay and what is the maximum file size the log should contain how many files it should contain okay when I am running the project again and again should it s delete the old one and generate the new one or sh it should start appending from the end line okay uh, I have set it, it appending as false that means it will make a new file again and again okay and will replace the old file okay you can change this uh, true you can make the file size etc and try working on it okay there are many other features as well but I am keeping the basic one as the initial stage of the learning it is good to go first to try with the initial and I think uh, in the framework this much will be the sufficient there is no use to go to advanced features okay now how to use this to use this we need to first create the object of logger class and logger okay and let me import this and that is from log apache 4j okay now I have to initialize it okay I will write logger is equals to logger dot get logger okay and we need to write dev panoy logger okay now it's good now I can write into the log files I will write logger dot debug oops sorry logger dot debug and whatever the text message I want to add at starting of selenium tests after the initialize the variable I can write logger debug mozilla browser opens and after this I can write logger dot get logger dot debug I can write navigate to Google okay so after this task whenever this debug come it will create sorry it will create a file under the name of logs under my D drive and will be start entering this stuff so first it will try starting when the Firefox will open it will then write this statement so similarly we can generate the logs let's see run this as test ng test and let's see if it's working or not okay it opens the Google and it navigates it to okay and the test case pass let's see the logs are generated or not yes the logs are generated time is 615 yes 615 
and let's open it yes the logs are printed the date time and etc everything is printed okay starting the selenium test mozilla browser opens navigate to google okay so the you can save this logs and you can refer it later at a later stage so this is the best advantage of the feature for using the logger class okay like debug you can also use warn uh, run error logger dot error to make the different logs here instead of debug okay <coughs> so that's all with the logger and um, it will will be using in a selenium framework uh, to for maintaining the logs okay thank you